Hey everyone, this is Lyndon with HTC One Soft Monitor, and today I'd like to show you how to install the leaked copy of Android 4.3 with Sense 5.0. So the first thing you'll have to do is complete the prerequisites. So you'll have to have a unlocked bootloader, a custom recovery. I use suggest twerp because I'll be using that for this video, but any of them will do. And you'll also have to download the zips associated with the ROMs. So the first thing you'll have to do after you do those things is turn the device off and then boot into the recovery mode. To do this, press volume down and hold it and then press the power button. And it'll boot into HBoot. And then just press volume down to scroll to recovery, press the power button to confirm. Okay, now we're in Torp Recovery. So since this will do a full wipe of your system, you'll want to do a backup. So just tap on Backup. Make sure all the checkboxes are selected. And do a swipe to backup. That will take some time, and once it's done, press the Home button. Then you'll want to do a full wipe of the system. So tap on Wipe. Tap Advanced Wipe and then check Dalvik cache, cache, data, and system. Make sure you don't select internal storage, otherwise it'll wipe your internal storage. And then swipe, swipe to wipe, and it'll just take a little bit of time. Once that's done, press the home button, and then you're ready to install the ROM, so just tap on install. Scroll down until you see the HTC One Maximus HD 12.1 and then just swipe to confirm the flash now it's going to open the Aroma installer so just tap on next it's going to show you a change log. Just tap next. You have to agree to the terms, so tap next. And then it's going to also ask you about another wipe. I suggest just leaving it as perform a full wipe, just for compatibility reasons. Tap next. Don't worry about the device model. It's built for the international HTC One, so that works. It works with AT&T. And I have not tested it with T-Mobile, but it should work with T-Mobile. Check off any mods you'd like to install. There are some built-in stuff. I haven't tested any of this. Um, sound mod may, may boost the sound. I'm not sure what that does. Tap on Next. It also gives you an option to remove any of the apps that are, that are bundled with the ROM. So in case you don't want anything... Uh, to save internal storage space or any other reason you can remove the apps so they won't install. Once you're done with that, tap next. Then you are greeted with the key install keyboard screen. If you want to install another language to the keyboard, you can check that off here. Once you're done with that, tap next. And then it's ready to install. So tap next to install. And it should only take a few moments.
Okay, the installation is complete. Just tap on next. And then tap on finish. And then tap on yes to reboot. And the system will reboot. Uh, it will take a lot longer on the first boot just because it has just wiped the data and it has to take time to rebuild everything. So the first boot will take longer, but after that it will be much quicker. Okay, after that rather lengthy boot sequence, it's now into the settings. And since this is built for the international HTC One, you'll have to change out of the international settings. So uh, tap on the language and then go to English, United States. And tap on OK. Tap on Start. Then select your carrier, since this is an AT&T phone, I'll select AT&T and tap on next. And then uh, tap on your Wi-Fi, I'm just going to skip that for now. And then you'll have the option to run through this whole setup, I'm just going to skip. And you should be ready to go. It's booted up into the main screen and as you can see the clock is in 24 hour mode so just make sure that you sign in to all of your settings and change all the options to whatever you'd like such as the weather. So feel free to like, comment on the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the full tutorial available on HTC SoftMonitor. Thanks for watching.